unlocking your personality. A lot of us are trapped in the animosity of inferiority complex. We think we are either not good enough, that we don't measure to certain standards, and as a result, we end up having low self-esteem and we, doubt, we even doubt our abilities. In this video, I share with you tips on how to unlock your personality, that it factor. You know, that magnetic and mysterious something that is easy to recognize but hard to define. The it factor is not something that can be acquired, but it can only be released from within. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Like, how do you unlock your personality? What will people say is the first stumbling block that you need to overcome if you want to unlock your personality. Do not be too consciously concerned about what others think of you. If you pay too much attention to what people think of you, it only results in inhibition and poor performance. The best remedy is to focus on yourself. This is how our conscious work, similarly to how a computer is programmed, you know? The computer gives reliable answers if correct information has been stored or programmed in it before it is given problems to solve. It is in the same way that your conscious becomes a valuable guide in deciding what is morally right or wrong if your beliefs are sound. But if your basic beliefs are not sound and you doubt yourself, your conscious can be misleading. So it all starts there. If you think positive thoughts, your conscience will guide your personality. Self-expression is the second tip that I'll share with you in unlocking your personality. A lot of people think it is morally uh, wrong to self-express because it's either the way humiliated or punished for speaking up and thus they've learned that it is wrong perhaps to speak up. This is when a person starts believing that expressing your emotions is wrong. But the opposite is actually the truth. You know, properly directed and controlled emotions are constructive in expressing yourself. Those who suppress their emotions or hold their views and not express their opinions they end up believing like they have a right to be a nobody. And that is absolutely wrong. We all have a right to occupy this earth. And as such, you have a right to express yourself. That's how you unlock your personality. By having a voice and voicing your opinions. So if you are amongst a million who think that you, 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 you don't have a right to express yourself, I think you, should, you need to get out of your shell. This brings me to the third point, treading on caution. It is okay to be careful, but you need to practice being less careful if you want to unlock your personality. So one might ask, but, but Lebo, how do I not care? Uh, well, be less concerned, really. Be less concerned about what people say. Be less concerned about what people think of you. Be less concerned. So, because the path to to a goal of self-fulfilling, creative personality is a cause between too much inhibition and too little of it. So you need to find a balance in your own uh, way of thinking. As much as I'm advocating for freedom of expression, I'm not saying that you should be reckless. You must refrain from impulsive, ill-considered actions. I mean, if you're a decent human being. And of course, you always have to think of the consequences before acting. Be that as it may, it does not mean you have to mute your personality. Improvise as you need to. Sometimes you'll have to act and correct your mistakes as you go along. The last point to focus on is self-criticism. 
Stop criticizing yourself unnecessarily. Useful and beneficial self-criticism, meaning subconsciously when you criticize yourself, it's okay. It's, it's acceptable. But conscious criticism where you go out of your way to talk yourself down kills your personality. Self-criticism is good and useful if it's undertaken sparingly. However, you need to learn to consciously appreciate everything good about yourself because it becomes a powerful disinhibitor when you love yourself. It unlocks your personality to the fullest. Also, when you like something, let it be known. Let people know if you like them. Express your good feelings. And when you do that, you open yourself to goodness. You unlock the goodness of your heart and that's when the spark ignites. That it factor comes to life.